You are likely trying to trade too many different candlestick patterns. I remember at the beginning of my trading career, I actually learned and tried to apply over 75 different candlestick patterns. And you know what that led to? A lot of confusion, being completely overwhelmed, and ultimately my trading account dropping consistently. Fast forward to now being a professional trader, I actually only utilize a couple of different candlestick patterns for my trading. And what I wanna do in this video is share with you the candlestick pattern I would use if I was starting out as a brand new trader, and this is a candlestick pattern I utilize every day in my own trading. So if that sounds like something you wanna learn, go ahead and click that like button for me. Go ahead and subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you after the intro and disclaimer. Welcome back. And just in case you are brand new, my name is Steven. I've been trading for about a decade and I have three main missions, make money, help other traders do the same and work up the courage to go skydiving. Now this channel helps me do the first two. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. I believe that this candlestick pattern is one of the most slept on patterns in trading and it's time tested and you've definitely heard of it before, but I don't think you've applied it to your trading in the way I'm going to teach you how to apply it today. Now, just for context, the way I use candlestick patterns is for reasons for entry. They are normally the reason I actually click the buy or sell button after a candlestick patterns formed is when I do that. I use them as my entry reason. So keep that in mind as we go through today's video. And just to show you that I actually utilize exactly what I'm teaching you today, you can see there's a live trade going on on the screen right now on the Euro yen. If you look down here, you can see this is an Oanda live account. I'm about $1,000 on this trade or around a two to one reward to risk ratio. Now in this video, I'm gonna explain and break down the entire reason for entering this trade because there was a lot more to it than just this one candlestick pattern. And that way you'll have a full strategy by the time you leave. But for now, let's discuss the actual candlestick pattern the engulfing candlestick pattern. Now I know a lot of you have probably heard of this pattern and may even know how to spot it on a chart, but again, I'm going to be teaching you how I use these patterns to actually pull profits out of the market. So stick around if you are that person, but if you're brand new and don't know what this pattern is, I want to go ahead and give you a little tutorial of it right now. So this very simple pattern is nothing more than the body of a candle being larger than the previous body of the previous candle. And it does need to be a color change. So this candle must be red for a bullish engulfing candle and the engulfing candle must be green. That's how simple this is. It's literally just a candle stick that has a body bigger than the previous candlestick body. And again, the color change from red to green is necessary for a bullish version of the engulfing pattern. Now in stocks, the engulfing pattern needs to have an open lower than this previous candle and a close higher than the body of this previous candle. But in Forex, what you'll notice is that most candles open at the exact point of the previous close. And that's why these candles are drawn this way. So keep that in mind if you trade stocks, but if you trade Forex, this is how they will look. So for a bearish version of this, it's completely the opposite. We need the body of this candle to be larger than the body of the previous candle. We need a color change from green to red. And as long as we have those two things, despite what the wicks look like, we don't even need to focus on wicks for this candlestick pattern because they do not matter. So irregardless of what the wicks look like, if we have a green candle followed by a red candle, that's larger. The body is larger than the previous green candle. We have a bearish engulfing candle. And if we have a red candle followed by a green candle that has a larger body, then that red candle, then we have a bullish engulfing pattern. So a lot of confusion can happen even after learning a candlestick pattern and saying, I'm only going to use this candlestick pattern. And that confusion happens because you never take the time. And it, it happened for me because I never took the time to actually create a very simple rules based strategy around that candlestick pattern. So I would just be trading it in the middle of nowhere with no other confluence. And that again, caused a lot of losses for me. So what I want to do now is explain this entire trade and explain the full way that I use engulfing candlestick patterns in order to actually pull profits out of the market. Let's go ahead and get started. So when trading candlestick patterns, I never trade them without three other technical confluences. You can pick your own, but right now I'm going to explain what my technical confluences were for this trade. So for this trade, we're out on the daily chart. Now I took this trade on the four hour and for this trade, the daily chart is showing an uptrend. So the first technical factor I had is that we are in trend to the upside. And as a special bonus to that, 
we also don't have a level of resistance until 162.67 so we have all this space before there's a resistance level meaning we have the possibility of catching a really big move to the upside but in terms of this uptrend we have prices pushing higher creating a low to a higher high all of this just being a bit of a complicated pullback then a push higher and eventually this break above this previous zone of resistance you can call it consolidation if you want to i'm calling it a complicated pullback so as we broke above that level i already knew i was already prepared for prices coming back down to this level i'm not going to buy on this breakout because i'm not going to chase the market but if we get a pullback into an area of interest an area of value like this major level of resistance that's been tested multiple times then that's when i know i have the best odds of a winning trade so factor number one was that we're in an uptrend with room to the upside if i place a trade factor number two was that i wanted price to come down to a level of major structure that had been tested multiple times i call these otz's or optimal trading zones so we have trend we have price in an otz or optimal trading zone that's when i want to drop down to a trading time frame like the four hour chart which is what i use and on the four hour chart i ended up seeing the rsi indicator going oversold while in my zone so what we had was the daily trend going up we had a daily level of major structure in that otz i just showed you and on the four hour chart we had prices going into an oversold rsi situation so if we add those up that is three major technical factors before the candlestick pattern which also counts as a technical factor so with those three technical factors in place i knew i was just waiting on a candlestick pattern that candlestick pattern happened and was this engulfing pattern right here as you can see follows the rules of our bullish engulfing pattern we have a big green body candle that's got a bigger body than the previous red candle making this a valid engulfing pattern and the reason i decided to actually press the buy button on this specific trade so no single candlestick that you learn will ever make you some super profitable trader just because of a single candlestick in trading we have to combine a candlestick formation with other technical factors in order to create an edge over the market that plays out over time keep that part in mind it plays out over a long span of time when we have a candlestick pattern combined with three other technical factors that doesn't mean we're going to win every single trade we're absolutely not i don't win every single trade but what this does is creates an edge that plays out over a large sample size of trades which gives me the ability to be profitable over a long span of time and so here's what i want you to try in conclusion on this video i want you to try only trading this in a demo account by the way if you're brand new to trading or still struggling as a trader you don't need to be trading with live money anyway so this needs to be tried in a demo account if you're new try this while you're learning about pips leverage while you're learning about stop losses while you're learning about risk management and trading psychology and by the way we have a completely free basics course that goes over all that it's linked in the description or you can go to the web address you see on the screen right now but while you're learning all of those things take what you just learned about engulfing candles and use either those three technical factors or choose your own but use three different technical factors in confluence with a candlestick pattern for entry and do that on a demo account while you learn and see what the outcome is not over one trade not in one week see what the outcome is over a large span of time it'll probably take you one to three months to learn the basics of forex and to have them mastered while you're doing that just trade this on a demo account and see what it comes up with what do you have to lose and the only thing that i just remembered that i did leave out was stops and targets there's no rocket science to this i normally put my stop loss below the engulfing candle somewhere that makes sense in this case it made sense to put it below the entire zone because i could still get a decent reward to risk ratio doing that and for targets i normally set a target at about a one to a 1 1.4 to 1 reward to risk ratio and if i want to manage the position i move my stop to break even once that one to one or 1 1.4 to one is hit and continue to ma manage the position on the way up and the reason i'm doing that in this specific case not that you need to worry about that if you're a beginner but the reason i'm doing this in this specific case is because of how much room to the upside we have on the euro yen before we hit the next major level of structure so even having a full strategy like that 
is only about a third of the puzzle that you need in order to be a professional trader. So the rest of that puzzle or triangle <laughs> looks a little something like this. I call this the triangle of trading success. Everyone making money is in the middle of this triangle and they've mastered three skills. That is a strategy that makes them money over time that's proven to be profitable. That is a risk management plan that keeps them from blowing their account, losing too much money and becoming super emotional. And that is the trading psychology that keeps them from switching strategies, from moving their stop up and down, that keeps them in an emotionally clear state while they're trading. And you must master all three of these if you ever have hopes of making money consistently as a trader. And as I said earlier, we actually have a completely free beginner's course that will help you master all three of these. It is linked in the description or you go to the web address you see on the screen. Now, if you're ready for some more advanced trading and you want a little more one-on-one -on -one with me to help you along your path of becoming a profitable trader, then we have a little bit of room inside of the TTC Forex University right now. That's our flagship course. And if you want all the details of that and what's included in that course, all you got to do is go to the top link of the description or go to www.ttcfxuniversity.com. If not, that's completely fine too. Just be sure you're subscribed here to keep up with all the free content we come out with. Be sure you click the like button if you got some value from it. Comment if you made it to the end, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.